work in Santa Barbara County, so I can really only talk about Santa Barbara County, but definitely we see a high rate of child obesity here, and we think it correlates with malnutrition, that really kids are eating too much fast food, they're um, not getting nutritious foods full of vitamins that help them metabolize the food well, and they're probably not getting enough physical activity as well. Well, we definitely want to be part of that, you know, in empowering schools to serve healthier, greener foods, uh, you know, fresh foods. It's definitely a huge part of what the food bank does. Half of the food that we put out into the community is fresh produce. Food in schools haven't been given the amount of attention that they deserve. And so there's not very much training given to the people that are cooking the food in the schools. Um, their budgets are probably um, curtailed and sort of uh, minimized a lot, so they're not able to purchase the high quality food. They're going for very inexpensive, um, frozen, and uh, sort of uh, preserved foods, foods with a lot of additives and things like that. But I think families face that sort of that crunch on their time and maybe the unfamiliarity with fresh produce. And that's why we have educational programs that give people that sort of knowledge. It can be cost effective to eat healthy. It's just being able to find the things that are in season and knowing how to prepare them in a way that's healthy and low cost and you know, cooking in batches and being able to sort of spread it out over time with freezing and preserving things in other ways. Give them a sample of the of the fruit or vegetable that we've talked about and so they get to try it themselves and they can make a positive association with that fruit or that vegetable and then we give them information that they can take home to their parents so they know how to cook with it or that their child likes it and they introduce it in sort of a low stress way that's uh, exciting and interesting like you say to reach children and then inspire their parents that their kids will like this produce you know it's not some scary thing they don't want to try um, and that it's not as hard to prepare as the parents might have thought and it won't take as much time as they thought we try and choose recipes that are simple inexpensive um, come together quickly and their kids are going to enjoy so they're they're tasty and then as these kids grow up it'll be accessible and easy for them as they become teenagers and adults and have their own families they'll remember or have these lessons and, and it'll be more accessible to them it'll uh, break down the barriers about how much time it takes to cook and how much it costs to cook it'll it'll seem more a second nature to them